Yo, what's up? Um, UFC conspiracy guru here. Uh, I just wanted to talk about um, conspiracies, actually. But Fabio, the Diego Sanchez's boyfriend or whatever, I think he's right about a lot of things. Um, if you listen to him talk, he rants and rambles and goes segues from one subject to the next subject to the next subject right and to somebody who doesn't pay attention to the UFC and doesn't know what he's talking about he sounds absolutely crazy um, but if you've been a f hardcore fan of the UFC for a long time he makes a lot of sense a lot of sense and but to most people, and including myself, like, he is crazy. Like, uh, the training and stuff, he looks like a con man. I don't, like, in the conspiracy world, my buddy Fenry, he calls it new sleep, right? It's um, basically, like, you woke up to some truth, like 9-11 or whatever else, maybe, right? Flat Earth. Um, and then you went down these rabbit holes of indoctrination you got on YouTube and you started typing away and watching video after video after video and that's what you became this new sleep you, you indoctrinated yourself with what you wanted to see so what your mind was telling you so it's a little bit what it sounds like with Fabio in your lane dude um Fabio or whatever it it sounds like he truly does care about Diego and a lot of the points he makes about Diego should be fighting guys his frame size his age kind of not young and but the UFC wants to literally make a dollar off of Diego and tear his name down to the bottom of the pit so and that's what they did every fighter Diego's at the end of his career. They've got to use him as a catapult for a young fighter. They got to build, use Diego's name and legacy to tear him down. But instead of that, Fabio's going to do it all on his own. And because the media is controlled by the UFC and the brass, that you'll never really hear a decent side from Fabio or Diego. You never will. Yeah, like, and and if you do, the comment sections are going to be loaded with um, casuals that have shit all over Diego's boyfriend and all kinds of other stuff. I do think it's interesting as an aspect of um, of him being his boyfriend, right? Like, that's a new aspect. If, like, Diego was to come out and be like, well, we're homosexual, that's my boyfriend, he's speaking for me, I think it might be treated a little bit differently. But anyway, I think Diego is probably going to go do bare knuckles fighting, make more money than he did in his in his next couple of UFC fights, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's sad case. I don't think Diego should be fighting anymore. He has a horrible lisp. Um, he's uh, has obvious concussion syndromes, which, which which is what the UFC was checking on. They didn't want him being injured anymore. They, I guess, they were wanting to cut him. But the UFC has let fighters fight for way too long they wait till you're not valuable to them anymore and the fans love Diego they love him so um, they're in a tough predicament and they had to let him go and they basically clowned I think the best part about this whole situation is Diego doesn't really get hated on is that Fabio took the hate away from Diego because he's always been underskilled and overperformed. He's never really been that good. And now that he's getting older, that is really showing. It'd be like if Brendan Schaub was to stick around in the UFC. Like, you would have seen Diego Sanchez 2.0. That's what you would have seen. Um, he's just not fluid. But um, I was just looking. Oh, yeah, I was just saying... Watching the fight between um, Cody Stamen, right? And 
Russian guy. I can't know his name. I don't know his name, but uh, the fight was so close. And at the end of the fight, all three commentators, which are UFC fighters almost, and then all started talking about how far Cody was behind in the fight. And I'm sitting here watching the same fight going, what are they talking about? And this happens a lot. You'll hear them talk up another fighter. Um, and start saying and hinted that he won. that And stuff like that. And it's already been obviously known that the, the judges can sit there and hear them. Now, I have two ways of looking at this. You, you got a judge going... I can hear him. Uh, what? Oh, he's right. He could be right about that. And and just like magic tricks, like if somebody is shuffling through magic tricks, they know that you see the one card as they're shuffling. That that's the card you're gonna pull. Like it's the same thing. So if I say a name, like and uh, give advice, the advice is gonna be subconsciously taken, whether or not you want to take it or don't take it. It's gonna be subconsciously taken. That's how the mind works. So and then. So he, they're basically complimenting him and the refs can hear him. So he's either gonna take that advice or not take that advice, right? Um, we've seen the UFC happen like this before. What was it? Uh, Colby Covington. Um, they said out loud that, oh, Co Colby's jaw's broken. On camera, you can see Colby's quarterman go, his jaw's broke, his jaw's broke, I just heard the news. And that was used against him, used against Colby. And in many instances, these um, commentators, judges, ref, they're all doing it in favor of who I think the UFC wants to win. It happens all the time. Same thing with like UFC, um, media they sit there and talk about fucking what's his name the rainbow snow cone hair guy um nobody likes him he's cringy as fuck i don't know how he's got followers but nobody likes him and the ufc and like weasel and people will keep talking about him even though we don't want to see him you lost to cheeto vera badly like, shamefully, and then, like, you keep talking about him. We don't want to hear about him. I mean, he's good, right? Like, he's a good, he's a UFC fighter. Like, build him up a little bit. We don't need to hear about this young prospect, right, that nobody gives a fuck about. Honestly. So, I'm watching the Cody Stamen fight versus the Russian guy, and they just keep back to back to back talking about how the other the Russian guy is going to win even like I don't know who he is I'm unbiased I'm always unbiased I want the best men to win always but the fight went back and forth back and forth back and forth and all the grappling exchanges Cody ended up on top he had the submission attempt he had the, the reverses switches and the ground positioning the striking looked almost even so I'm just I you know, I saw Paul Felder in there with Megan O'Leary, and Paul Felder is one of the people that was talking. I just worry that our sport is going to start being rigged like, like other sports. Like we have 45 year old Super Bowl winners because they went vegan, right? Not because they give the owners and the other teams Freemason handshakes. Um, anyway. Yeah, the UFC is crooked as fuck. So if you want to win and you don't want the UFC controlling your destiny, you better get a submission or a knockout. Don't leave it to the judges. It means we're a rigging fights. Cheers.